It's OTK Elusives. Oh, oh no, man, BBG my... is going to have to beat that twice. It is a hard deck to beat twice, for sure, because it just goes off. Oh, my! And that God. is one of the ways that it does it right there. <laughs> oh, my God. This one might be over quick, Gassa. It might. BBG has chump blockers, right? He's got Arachnoid Sentry. He's got ways to slow sure. this down. How Spider? Okay. Looks he's like got one. BBG I don't know if he kept it, is. but he's got one. Yeah. He's got a good hand, actually. BBG, he's got some stall tools yeah. here. How Spider? Sure. It's a bl double standalone. Okay. Uh, from Lobster. But How Spider will allow some chump blocking. He has Sentry to stop the turn three attack. He has Thermal Beam then on deck to try and get a big hit. But we know that Lobster has plenty of answers to the removal and a deny to protect this Zed. Deny. Okay, well, the Sentry is huge here, for sure. Yeah, one turn slowing it down. That's, it's one turn slowing it down and also, like, how much... Well, I guess yeah. With the with the with the rally, it's different. Oh, Ooh. another barrier too. Guillotine. Oh, and a barrier. Okay, never mind. Uh, Actually, okay. If, guillotine is the biggest thing. It depends if lobster gets greedy or not. It's like standalone is a pretty good response to any spell used to remove his Zed. <laughs> but not guillotine. Unless he holds on to the lobster, nine mana, no. which he can do. He can oh, standalone plus deny. Takes it. Can I go for a standalone? Yeah. I mean, this is seems like it's just fine. Thermo beam can be stopped by a barrier if it comes out. Yep. Or uh, it's for five. It can be stopped by another standalone if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. I think barrier, barrier overall is going to be a, a nicer, uh, nicer yeah. way to deal. But but yeah, you, you sure. are right. You are correct. Standalone would be able to answer. Don't it's a dead draw for lobster. That. Yeah, don't play that. It's probably an open attack. He knows he can't play standalone now that he has open attack. Right. So he would have to respond to like I don't know, get excited plus mystic shot. He would have to play the repose. Right. I feel like you just let that one go through. Yeah, it looked like BBG picked up his uh, Blade's Edge for a second. Maybe just trying to set up Guillotine. Yeah, I could see it. Lobster doesn't really need to do anything. Just wants mana to keep playing around. This now, man. going to eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He, BBG has seven damage, of, has seven direct damage in hand. Yeah, I mean, so. part of me feels like Lobster needs to block this. I mean, obviously, Lobster doesn't know that there is seven direct damage in BBG's hand, but, like, it's P and Z. It's Ezreal. You, you know there's a lot of burn. You can put him on... Potentially even more than that because of Get Excited. Like, Get Excited is in the mix as well as, as potential outs here. Um, Lobster but... playing on, like you said, the Blade's Edge. Yep. I mean, basically, Lobster's looking for the OTK with the rally. Like, that's, right. that's what exactly. we're looking at, right? Like, Lobster is going to kill BBG on one turn if he wins this game. Mm-hmm. He has a For lot sure. of the tools he needs. If not, I mean, arguably all of the tools. He he commits the standalone. So this deny, he has to hold up deny mana for a guillotine. Right. And I, I'm sure Lobster has considered that. You have to, if you're a Lobster fan, you have to hope. Rummage coming out. Trying to find more damage. Two, that... four, five, six. Two. <laughs> six damage. Did he discard a damage somewhere? Yeah, one I, of the static shocks he got rid of. Okay, so yeah, he did discard discard a damage, so he actually could have been. 
Although not through deny. Once again, not through deny. So, man, it's so close. Like, because you have this much face damage, do you go for the guillotine to force deny? <laughs> or do you start pushing face damage to force... I don't know. Because BBG sees that there's four mana. Like, BBG knows... He's excruciatingly aware of the fact yeah. that Deny is probably in his opponent's hand. Here's the thing. Going face damage right now isn't going to force the Deny. Guillotining right now will force the Deny. So you force... I. But he doesn't have enough damage to finish him. That's like the problem, right? Well, like that's you guillotine uh, and then go and and knock the top of your deck. <laughs> I I don't know if he has. I guess blades edge. If he can get lobster to spend mana here, BBG can easily win. But lobster, you see him hover over that three mana. He knows. He knows he cannot dip below four if there is three available yep. for BBG. Yep. And he holds fast. I mean, get excited. I'm just, that's, I'm just putting it out there. Even though it's results oriented entirely, uh, my line would have won the game. Um, his line, st <laughs> I mean, his line still wins the game. That's enough. Does it? Yeah. It, through deny? Ooh, through deny, though. You're right. You're right. You're right. But it probably wins the game for him. Ten, three, six, seven, because eight. Because he just threatens lethal and then guillotines the Z. Three, four, five, six, seven. Or vice versa, yeah. Yeah, that, that should be it, actually. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we'll see, right? Like, there is the deny. We'll see how this plays out. I think there's room for BBG to mess up because he doesn't know what's in Lobster's hand. And there's room for Lobster to mess up because he doesn't know what's in BBG's hand. Right. I mean... So there's guillotine... Deny going to come out. That's the game. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Although, BBG might not go for it because, again, there could be a second deny uh, as long True. as there's one in the list. Crazy. The second lobster goes for rally, though. I mean, this should just be BBG's game. Right. I mean, we see that it definitely is, and it looks like BBG smells the blood in the water. Oh, or not. I mean, he could wait for Lobster to play Rally and then do it. He can wait for Lobster yeah, to dip below. The thing for BBG is he do he, he's not actually being pressured to do anything right now. Right. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't have to send everything face yet. He doesn't have to do anything right now. He can just let this resolve. I mean, if he wants to throw some pieces of burn at him, he can, but... No, 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 you're absolutely right. I think he's just going to wait. He's going to play Chump Wump. Actually, no, he's not going to play Chump Wump because he's going to wait and see what Lobster does. Because if he plays Chump Wump, he just, he's going to lose. But right. he, he's just going to wait and see what Lobster does. There's the rally, and that'll be the go sign for BBG. He'll send the rest to yep. face. Yep. And this That's is... It. This is this series tied up one to one. Wow. We're going to get a final game. Lobster's elusive list versus BBG's Ash Garen. Can you use twin disciplines on your health is the question. Answer no. Wow. You gain that was three insane. health this turn. Next turn, you die, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would have been good enough, actually, to still win. Yeah, that's true. It would have it been. Still would have won the game. It would have been good enough. But we will be seeing this final game: Fresh Lobster versus BBG, Elusives versus Garen Ash mid range. I have to imagine the Elusives have the advantage here, but there are freezes in BBG. Freezes deck. are pretty good against them all inning and hoping that that goes off well he's mulliganing the whole hand well, this isn't a bad one it's not not the best no he does have some good units see if he can find uh see if we can find this standalone alone 
trying to look at the deck from BBG. Brittle Steel, Harsh Winds, Relentless Pursuit, so you can counter B aggro. Rhyme Fang Wolf, Ice Veil Archer, Single Combat. It's got a lot of actual tools to deal Ooh. with these elusives. The old yeah, wonder, Nautilus Slayer himself. I wonder if this deck is good against uh, the elusive list. It's definitely. I have to imagine to it see. is. It seems like it is. It's challenger units. It's freezes. It's got some yeah. pressure. Two ashes drawn. Look at all these freezes in hand. BBG is going to wow. be able to go pretty aggressive. Yeah, this is. Uh... This might just be over, honestly. I don't know. I mean, just looking at the two hands, this is just absolutely brutal for Lobster. I mean, he's not hes not going to get another attack off the rest of the game. He's not going to have a unit in play for the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean, this Solitary Monk's going to get frozen, dragged down by probably the Rhymefang Wolf. We can have the drag from Fleet Feather Tracker onto Zed. Of course, yep. Buffs can come out to protect, but... Yeah, but guess what? Brittle Steel. This just on paper is like this is already forcing Lobster to do something. Whatever he does is going to get countered. Um, And the things that he can do aren't even good. Yeah, this draw and, and from he... BBG is so good into the elusives too. Yep. Okay, this is probably the best play play spends all his mana though he taps even out so zed and even so is it even good it's fine yeah this is best case for lobster for sure um he just spent two cards to kill a fleet feather tracker yeah which which happened to be <laughs> best case for lobster <laughs> right which was the best of all the scenarios um the good news well the good news is that there's not too much game here for uh bbg yeah i mean if he wants to stop a lot of damage he could go for harsh winds uh yeah. it does set up for a potential level up of his ash very quickly he's on one freeze so far that would get put him at three. He'd be on four from swinging in with Ash, and he has a Brill Steel or an Ice Veil Archer, and that's just the level up right there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's something to consider, but of course it uses a lot of your mana. Maybe he starts with Brittle Steel, and if a buff comes out, we'll see the Harsh I like Winds. It. I like it. Wow, is he actually he's considering Ooh. Shadow Shift? I think it's well. It makes sense. Zed, I don't think is your win condition. Uh, in this deck, so you don't mind. Well, you actually just keep a Zed anyway. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's basically, just the act of playing. Anyway. Yeah, the act of playing Shadow Shift essentially shuffles a Zed to put another Zed back in your deck. It's just bad against any kind of counterplay, which of course there isn't any counterplay for BBG to to do here. So. It, it really is just kind of uh, give your Zed three attack. It's still going to die, but mm -hmm. it doesn't get quick attack or whatever, right? So put one back in your hand. Now, you don't get to redevelop your Zed, but he did get to deal the three damage to Ash. Yeah. Looks like Babbling Bjerg for the most BBG. Relevant, but... Finds Garen with that. Honestly, I feel like the freeze is almost more likely because at least if fresh lobster develops if fresh lobster develops i think something like ice veil archer uh and then swing in with wait do you just set up lethal so that's three six eleven uh... that's enough if you if he if lobster plays anything you ice veil archer then if lobster plays another unit you swing in and freeze the third unit, and then you just have lethal. Um, yeah. It depends. I'm trying to think of what removal is actually run by this list. I'm going to take a look. No Will of Ionia. Second Harsh Winds. 
There's actually no response. Yeah, actually, it's just game if BBG does it that way. There's no response in this deck. Uh, can no, he can't even. Yeah. There's actually. Oh, oh he, he can... can buff. He can buff with uh, twin disciplines yeah. to allow a block. Twin disciplines to be able to block. Right. Okay. So it's not guaranteed game. It's just going to be a lot of damage. And Lobster's going to be forced to use offensive tools to defend. The problem is that there's still two harsh winds and a flash freeze for yeah. BBG. Yeah, I think. I wonder if BBG is still going to just go for that kind of line where he just forces an offensive tool to be used, freezing off as much of the board as possible, or if he'll just allow the natural level up. Because I think Ash is leveling up on her attack, regardless of if BBG plays one. But of course, playing. Yeah a freeze would allow him to prevent BBG from blocking till a buff was played. There's the attack. Gonna challenge, so just gonna look to remove as many elusives as possible. Yep. Makes sense. Notably, this uh, threatens the ash kill, even without yeah. buffs. And it's an Ashes Flash Freeze, so I'm curious if BBG even wants to expend it or if he wants to hold it as an actual Ash to play um, on a following mm -hmm. turn. Yeah, it looks like gonna just hold on to it. Might even just accept this as a block. Oh, it doesn't level the Ash. Okay, so it was one free. I was okay. I was correct to begin with. I just thought I, I got confused by the arrows. It looked like she was uh, gonna level. Yeah, BBG going a yeah, more think... conservative route. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, the funny thing is that I think BBG would rather just have the flash freeze in hand than the the ash, but maybe not. The ash is fine. You've got two harsh winds, which is obviously going to be huge. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, might as well play the. Might as well play the Ash here. Not going to be able to play two Harsh Winds, even if you bank. Yeah, I think the Harsh Winds is going to seal this game. I'm trying to go through the different lines that Lobster has. He's going to stand alone, potentially here, so he can develop units on the following turn. And then he'll have mana for Twin Disciplines, but it won't be enough damage to push through a Harsh Winds. And on the following right. turn, Ash levels up on attack, and the board is too wide. Right. There's another Harsh Winds banked up as well. can be used either to just hold on an additional turn if BBG doesn't get the kill on the next one, or to try and push the lethal with the Frostbites preventing blocks. Yeah, if I'm Lobster, Zed. I'm, I'm not sure if it's Fiora, you try and kill Ash. Zed, you swing in, go over the top with the Green Glade duo. problem is, is that you're not even presenting lethal with twin disciplines and like if bbg has nothing right now you still don't have lethal um well, you, you do you if do... you play the units yeah you do if you play one unit and twin disciplines you present lethal on yeah the duo. um because it's six damage plus three from the twin disciplines yeah but that's if there's no freeze and i right. i wonder I mean, if lobster we is know lobster... that this is is he in the spot where he just has to do it do you think? I mean, the attack back seems pretty cut and dry. Yeah, I mean, the just attack the attack back. Even even if yeah, uh, yeah, he just has yeah. to go for it. Even yeah. if he twin disciplines to be able to block with a Sithria, he's still dead on board. Yeah, I mean, I. I respect that Lobster recognizing the point where he had to just go for the lethal, and if yep. BBG has the answer, then he has the answer, and that's the set, and BBG yep. does, in fact, have the harsh winds. BBG gonna take down Fresh Lobster, moving on to the finals to face the winner of Gade yep. Maverick versus Prismat, and a chance to kind of defend his claim on best in North America, taking down a European to do so. Yep. But this Clash of Crazy. Clash of the Titans did not disappoint. An incredible no, set between not. BBG and Fresh Lobster. That was a fantastic set. I mean, 
if you want to know how to play the uh, Ezreal uh, Draven Mirror, watch that game. Absolutely insane. Wow. Wow. That's all I have to say about that set. That was a... Man. We saw the Ezreal Draven the match of the century. Mirror, mirror match of the century. We saw the elusives demacia air quotes nut draw get beat and we saw our first game of uh ash demacia end up beating the elusive deck crazy 